last video, we wrote a VBA script that would take a single chart that we specified and it would export it to a PowerPoint presentation that we created in the script. Now, for most people, they're gonna have more than one chart that they're gonna wanna export. So in this situation, we have two charts on a single sheet. And so what happens if we wanted to export both of these charts? Or for that example, what happens if we wanted to export all the charts in the workbook? So these additional charts on the charts two worksheet. Well, in this video, we're gonna do just that. We're gonna create a VBA script that will export either all the charts on a single sheet or all the charts in a single workbook. So just like in the last video, I have some dummy data and each one of these dummy data is feeding a chart. So I have two charts on the first worksheet and then on the charts two worksheet, I have another two charts. And so in the first part of the video, we're gonna create a script that will export all the charts from a single sheet. So these ones. And then in the second part, we're gonna export the charts from charts one sheet and from the charts two sheet. So let's go into Visual Basic Editor. If you haven't already, insert a new module, just like that, right click and insert. And then also, just like in the last video, we have to make a reference to an object library that by default is not enabled, and that's the PowerPoint object library. And so with this library, we're gonna be able to create PowerPoint objects. We're gonna be able to manipulate those objects from within the Excel VBA editor. And the way to kind of think about it is it gives us a way to have Excel talk to PowerPoint. Now, the nice thing is enabling the library is pretty straightforward. We're gonna go up to the Tools section, so right here under the ribbon. We're gonna click it and then click References. Now on my system, I've used the PowerPoint object library before, so it's already enabled. But if you're new to this and you've never used this library, you're not gonna see it at the top of your screen. So what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to scroll down to M and find Microsoft, and then go into the P section. So it's usually right about here. And then you're gonna wanna look. And so depending on your system, so some people might have multiple versions of Office enabled, but basically you just wanna take the latest version of the object library that you have. So if you are on an older version of Office, you might not see this 16 right here, you might see a 15, for example, if you're using an older version. So whatever version you're using, just simply pick the latest version. And then once you've checked the box, so by checking the box, you're enabling it, Press OK. And so now we can actually write our script now. And so we're gonna create a new subroutine. We're gonna call exports charts to PowerPoint single worksheet. I just like to make sure I name it so that way if I ever look back, I can know what it looks like. Okay, and so the first section, so just like in the last video, we're gonna declare some, declare some PowerPoint object variables. So the first one is gonna be PPT app, and this is going to be a PowerPoint application object. And so the PowerPoint application object, that's actually gonna house PowerPoint, and so when later in the script we'll see, but we're gonna create a new instance of, app, of PowerPoint from within Excel. And so then from there, we can start making the objects within the PowerPoint application. And the next one is gonna be the PPT Prez, and this is going to be the PowerPoint presentation object. And so that presentation will live within our application object. And then naturally, we're gonna want some slides, so we wanna create a PowerPoint slide object variable, and so this slide will live within the presentation, and we'll see later in the script, but we're actually gonna create multiple slides, so we're gonna reuse that object variable. And then the final one is gonna be slide index. And so this, this is gonna be used later, but basically it's gonna allow us to 
uh, iterate and create more than one slide. So we're going to use it kind of as a reference point to say, okay, in the beginning you have slide one, then slide two, um, but you'll kind of see later in the script, you know, how it's being used. And then the second part is we're going to declare some Excel object variables. And technically this is an object variables because this one is an integer. So these three are objects, but this one is actually an integer. And so we're going to do, we're going to create a chart object. And so this is going to be a PowerPoint chart object. And so like in the last video, the chart object, it's like a container and that container contains all the information in a chart. So just like here, we have a chart object, so we create, create, it contains all the information within this first chart. So now we've created all of our variables. So now the next thing we need to do is we need to create a new instance of PowerPoint. So how we do that is we're gonna set the PPT app, we're gonna make it reference something, and it's gonna reference a new instance of the PowerPoint application. And then next, we want to make the PowerPoint application, we want to set the visible property equal to true. And so this will allow us to actually see the application on our screen um, because if we didn't set it, you want to be actually be able to see it. <laughs> and that's not going to help us. Now, if we run it, It created a PowerPoint application, but there's no presentation. So that's not going to help us at this current point. So we actually need to create that presentation ourselves. So we need to create a new presentation within the application. And so how we do that, we're going to set the PPT Prez, and that's going to be equal to the PowerPoint application. And then we're going to call the presentations collection, so all the presentations within the PowerPoint application, and we're going to add one. And so before we did that, we didn't have any presentations, but after we call the add method, we're going to have one presentation that lives within our PowerPoint application, just like we wanted. And so when we run it, we have a presentation. Now there's still no slides in the presentation, but at least we have a presentation. And so from here, we're gonna actually set that index handler that we created up here, that slide index. So uh, we're gonna create an index handler for slide creation. And so right now, I'm just gonna set slide index equal to one. And we'll see why that's important later. So now that we've created the presentation, we're gonna actually go through and now loop through one of our worksheets, and we wanna loop through all the charts within that worksheet. So what we wanna do is in our current situation, we wanna loop through all the ones on the active sheet that we're on, and we wanna take this first chart, copy it over onto a new slide, and then we wanna take the second chart and copy this one over to a new slide. And so how we do that is we want to loop through all the chart objects on the active sheet. And that's very important to understand. Wherever we run this script, it's going to export all the charts on the current sheet that we have selected. Now, at some point, you're, you can obviously change that, but the way we've currently written the code it's going to be the current sheet that we're on. So the goal right now, if we, you know, once we finish writing the script, is we're gonna have fake data and fake data two in the presentation. And so how we're gonna write the loop is we're gonna say for each chart in the active sheet dot chart objects collection, so the the collection contains all the charts. And so each sheet has its own chart objects collection. 
and each one of those collections contains all the charts on that particular sheet. So this one has its own one, and charts two has its own collection. And so what we're saying is go through each one of those charts on the current sheet. And once you've reached the chart, copy the chart. And so we're gonna say, take the chart object that we're currently referencing and then copy it. And now that we've copied it, we need to create a slide and we wanna paste that chart onto the slide. So we're gonna create a new slide, set the layout to blank and paste the chart on the slide. And so we're gonna set the PPT slide object that we created above. We're gonna say, hey, go into the PowerPoint presentation object, go into the slides collection, and then add a new slide. And remember, it's not add slide. It sounds pretty intuitive, but that actually has to do with a, a master layout. But in this situation, we're just saying, add a new slide to the slides collection that lives within the presentation object. And then I'm gonna set the first parameter equal to that slide index. And then I'm gonna set the layout equal to blank. So why did I put slide index here? Well, we need to pass through a parameter and that parameter basically says, well, which position is the slide gonna to belong to? Well, currently in the presentation, we don't have any slides. So the first slide is gonna have a position of one. Well, if you see right up here, we set that slide index equal to one. So it's like we have a one here. And so what this is saying is add a new slide to the presentation, set the layout equal to blank, and then basically put it as position one. And now that we have that new slide, we're gonna say, hey, take the slide, and in the shapes collection that belongs to that slide, paste the chart that we currently have in our clipboard. And so before we actually close off this loop, we have to do one more thing. We need to increment our slide index. Because if we close it off, so like let's just say if we, we say uh, next chart, if we close it off and we go through to the next chart and we go back to this line of code right here, what's this number gonna be? Well, it's just gonna be one again. It's, it's just still the same number that we have up here. And so that's gonna run into a problem because there's already a slide in position one. And so what we wanna do is say, hey, actually, no, we don't want it to be in the next, in that one position anymore. We want it to be equal to the slide index so whatever the current value is, plus one. And so that's what this line does. It's now when we go through it, it's gonna be one plus one, so it's gonna be two. So when we go to the second chart, it's gonna say, okay, create another slide, but put this one in position two. So I'm gonna get rid of some of these lines. And let's see what, the, now let's see what it does when we run this code. Okay, that's looking good. So we have two slides and each slide contains a different chart. So on the first slide we have fake data and then on the second slide we have the second chart which is fake data too. So I'm gonna close that presentation. But now it comes to the second part. What happens if we wanna take the charts from the first sheet and the second sheet? Well, the nice thing is it's not too different. And so we can actually use pretty much all of the same code and we're just gonna make a couple slight modifications. So the first thing is I'm gonna rename my subroutine and I'm gonna say single workbook. And then from here, I'm gonna do one other thing. I'm gonna create another object variable and that one is going to reference a worksheet object. So I'm gonna say dim worksheet as worksheet. So this is gonna create a reference to a worksheet object. And we'll see why that's important because we're gonna actually add another loop. So now we're gonna have a loop within a loop. So a nested loop. 
And what we want this loop to do is we want to loop through all of the worksheets in the active workbook. So again, just like I mentioned in the first one, I'm assuming that all the charts you're working with are in the current workbook that you're act that you're in. So say you have two workbook open, then you want to make sure that when you run this script, it's on the workbook that you want to export all the charts. So uh, sometimes we forget about that. We don't think about that. And then we'll run like, oh, it didn't work. Why, did, why didn't it work? Well, it's because, again, it's assuming that th this script is assuming that all the charts you're using are in currently the active workbook. And so what we want to do is we want to say for each worksheet in worksheets. And so worksheets is a collection of all the sheets in this workbook. So charts one and charts two, these all live within the worksheets collection that belongs in my case, the chart book workbook. So again, we're gonna loop through all the worksheets within this workbook. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close off my loop, and then I have to make one extra change. I'm gonna indent this, so that way it's a little bit easier to see. I'm gonna change this part because now it's not referencing the active sheet. Because if we run it and we say, oh, well, if it's the active sheet, it's just gonna say, oh, this is the active sheet. And then it's gonna go to the next sheet in there and you can think of it as in a sense, it's like a numerical thing. So it's gonna say, oh, just take the chart from your active sheet. When we loop through that, we're not changing sheets. We're not activating that next sheet we're just saying loop through all the, the sheets. And so our active sheet that we're currently on hasn't changed. And so if we were to run it, it's just gonna pull this one and this one. And then when it goes to the next sheet, we haven't actually changed the sheet position. So it's gonna just say, oh, we'll take it from the active sheet, the one that you're currently on. So it would be fake data and fake data too. And so now when we run this, let's see what we get. Look at that. So fake data, fake data two, fake data three, and fake data four. So in this script, it exported all the charts in our workbook and it put it all in the PowerPoint presentation. So just for example, I just kind of want people to see this, but let me just change this back to active sheet, just so you guys can see and be like, hey, what is this gonna do if we leave that there? Because I think it's important to see it. Let's run it now. fake data, fake data two, fake data, and fake data two. Uh-oh, this isn't right. <laughs> so th it didn't work the way we were intending. It got the first two, but then on the third and fourth slide, it just took the same charts again. Well, it's because we didn't change the actual sheet, we just changed the reference to the sheet. And so we're still on the sheet. And so it's saying, oh, take it from the active sheet. So it took it from the sheet that we're currently on. So that's why we want to change this to the worksheet because now it's going to say, hey, go to sheet one, do your stuff, go to sheet two, do your stuff. And then it gets us the result that we want. So that concludes this video. Um, you know, hopefully everyone found it pretty useful because now if you think about it, and if you have a bunch of charts, you can definitely save yourself a lot of time when it comes to the point of actually just exporting the, that chart. I mean, it's not that much code. It's only a couple lines, um, but it can definitely save you a ton of time. So, you know, if you have any questions, you know, please comment below. And, you know, as always, please uh, like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time.